Good morning. I'm going to read today out of Exodus chapter 8, verses 20 through 23. Then the Lord told Moses, Get up early in the morning and stand in Pharaoh's way as he goes down to the river. Say to him, This is what the Lord says. Let my people go so they can worship me. If you refuse, then I will send swarms of flies on you, your officials and your people and all the houses. The Egyptian homes will be filled with flies and the ground will be covered with them. But this time, I will spare the region of Goshen where my people live. No flies will be found there. Then you will know that I am the Lord and that I am present even in the heart of your land. I will make a clear distinction between my people and your people. This miraculous sign will happen tomorrow. You know, there were 10 plagues that the Lord sent to force Pharaoh to let the Israelites go from Egypt. The first nine plagues were grouped in threes, with the third, sixth, and ninth being sent without warning. Plagues one through three were a general nuisance intended to get people's attention and force everyone to see God's sovereignty. Plagues four through six were more severe and intended to show God's distinction for Israel. Plagues seven through nine were devastating and intended to show God's disdain for Egypt's unbelief. Plague number 10, the death angel, was designed to force Pharaoh to let Israel go. My question has always been, why did the Lord allow Israel to experience the first three plagues? It wasn't until the fourth plague that God distinguished between Egypt and Israel. The Israelites suffered through water turned to blood, frogs, and gnats, or lice, or fleas. The same word, kinim, is used for all three pests. But why? Why did the Israelites go through the three plagues that established God's supremacy? Maybe the answer is found back in chapter 6. Verse 6 and verse 9 say this. Say therefore to the people of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will deliver you from slavery to them, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm, and with great acts of judgment. And then in verse 9 it says, Moses spoke thus to the people, the people of Israel, but they did not listen to Moses because of their broken spirit and harsh slavery. Why did the Israelites suffer the first three plagues too? Maybe because they didn't believe in the Lord either. They had abandoned their faith in the Lord and needed a reminder of his power. <laughs> oh, Lord, may I never forget that you are sovereign. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for your sovereign power over us. And may we never forget the ways that you work and move and protect and bless in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.